Hi guys, this is Pestilli and welcome to another Skate from Tarkov video. In this video I'm going to talk about duffel bags. Duffel bags, duffel bags, duffel bags. You guys asked for it, I searched a thousand duffel bags, took screenshots of every single one of them, and I got some marks on my community members to help out in uh, organizing the statistic forum. So guys, without further ado, let's crack straight into it. So. Uh, I searched a thousand duffel bags on any map that I was going to and there were a thousand sequential duffel bags. Now there were a few bad screenshots which meant that in, in um, following raids I had to get an extra, I think it was about 40 screenshots because what I was doing is I was tabbing out before the screenshot would actually process and therefore the screenshot didn't count. So they're not exactly a thousand in a row but it's the first 40 after the thousand screenshots and the data compilation and all that. So... Uh, it's pretty much safe to say that the statistics are, within reason, not too bad. Um, I can actually give you a fairly in-depth information on everything that you will find in duffel bags and the chances of it. So the first thing I should really cover is how many empty duffel bags there were. There was 178 empty duffel bags. That's 17.8% of them, almost 1 in 5. So if you're going through, you search a duffel bag, there is about a 1 in 5 chance that it's going to be empty. Now, I've broken the rest of these statistics down into different categories, um, so you can at least get an idea, because there are so many items I found. I will make the actual whole spreadsheet available to you guys, so you can go through the whole lot. Um, but we'll start off with the amount of items that spawned over 5% of the time. So there was a total of 8 items that spawned over 5% of the time. Uh, there was 2 lots of cigarettes, with the one that isn't used for the task, and then the Melbora cigarettes. Then you had the screws, bolts, matches, crickets, apple juice, and Vita juice, or Vita juice. So... If you're after juice, you've got about 11% chance because you can uh, get some hydration from there using those uh, the two of them. Otherwise, there's not really a great spawn chance for any specific item uh, besides the Melbora cigarettes, which we will need for a quest. Now, actually going into the next category, which is task items. Now, if you were going to use duffel bags to complete some of your tasks, these are the following lists of items that you will find. Now, starting at the top, we've got Malboras at 8.3%, Strikes at 4.9%, CPU fans at 3.2%, T-plugs at 32 MREs at 24 and then it goes down from there. Now, I found a total of 18 fuel conditioners, putting it at 1.8%, and this is a big jump, because a lot of you guys were really struggling to find fuel conditioners, so it's pretty safe to say you've got about a 1 in 50 chance, or a little bit less than that, so it'd be maybe like 1 in 52 or 4. So, you know, if you're after fuel conditioners, there is an option of duffel bags. And then going down from there, it's around 1% to half a percent, down a really low 0.1% uh, of a percent chance for some of the really... Uh, more expensive items like teapots and uh, G-phones, ophthalmoscopes and vases. The next thing we do have is all the big money ticket items. Now, these were items I deemed to be of value that we'd always loot if you opened up a duffel bag and it was in there. I think the cheapest ones are probably around your gas analyzer and your rec batteries. But every other item here is probably worth over 15,000 rubles. Um, it, the, the best one you've got is your condensed milk, spawning at 2.2% of the time. Um, these are actually selling around the 25,000 ruble mark. And then uh, your fuel conditioners are around the 2% mark, 1.8. Um, they sell for around 90,000 rubles to the therapist. So, and then as you can see, as you go down the list, there are um, most of the really expensive items that do spawn in there. Some things to note, I didn't find any Bitcoins, didn't find any rollers or key cards. Now, I'm not saying they were on the loot tables. I don't actually believe they are, but it's just a thing to note that if there was a myth out there that you could uh, find them, it's very unlikely if uh, if possible at all. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'm pretty sure you can't spawn any of these in a duffel bag anyway. Now, one of the big ticket items I was trying to find over the, uh, the course of this was the uh, antique book, which is required for the Kappa quest. It took me around 800 duffel bags to find the first one, and then I found another one in the last 200. So I did find two in the end. It was a really frustrating find. I actually found it for the quest in other locations, some of the fixed locations. And in total now, I found like five or six of them over, I don't know, multiple locations. So um, it, is a, it is not a bad option. So moving on to really what I think about duffel bags after looting a thousand of them. They're not a bad option, honestly. You, you can actually get lucky and get some good uh, some loot out of it that actually is worth of value. Uh, if you're after if you're still doing your quest, I actually think early on it's not a bad idea looting all the filing cabinets and duffel bags you can. Um, I've done these videos more of a bit of a, a, a you know a meme kind of thing, a bit of fun to do on the side. But I actually learned that 
If you're actually doing quests early, search in those following cabinets, you'll get a lot of your quest items, including doing duffel bags, and it's just one less thing you have to worry about, and you will be leveling up your search skill. Uh, the biggest question I get on my stream at the moment is how come I can search two things at the same time? So every time you completely search a container being either uh, one item or four items, doesn't really matter how many in there as long as there's at least one, you go up 0.3 skill points in search. And then at max, which is level 51, you can search two uh, items at the same time. So if you kill a scav, you can search their pockets and rig or their backpack and pockets, whatever they've got. Um, you can't search like say a duffel bag and a filing cabinet at the same time, but you can search two sections of a, of a body and it makes looting super fast and really efficient. Um, so early on, probably next wipe, if, if you're going to play the game a lot more, I really would suggest always looting every container you go by, even just for the sake of leveling your search skill and your attention skill gets in, uh, leveled during the same process. Um, and that will also level your charisma. So it's, it's like you're ticking off a lot of boxes there. Charisma for the task, attention and search for your, uh, your loot speeds, and it will add up later on. And it has made looting super quick for me. So in summary, guys, I hope you like this video. Look, um, it was a bit of fun to do, and it's a bit of a different video, and I don't think I'm going to be looting anything else from now. Please don't suggest me to loot pockets of scabs or some other shit. I'm not going to do it. Um, if there is something that interesting that does come up, I might do it. But for now, I'm going to leave it at this. Um, thanks for watching another video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for future content. I do stream on Twitch every day of the week. Go down the link below. Give me a follow there. You've got any Tarkov questions, feel free to hit me up on my live stream or down in the comments below. And lastly, I'll see you next time. I'll sing you the song, the song of the sea, birds, eye fish fingers, we'll catch them and freeze them, quick as can be, birds, eye fish fingers.